What's going on, everybody? Bringing you another tutorial here on how to beat the Mutt Puzzle Josh Norman solo against the Broncos. It's the final solo in the uh, series. I've heard that most people have been having trouble with this solo because their Broncos defense is causing a lot of fumbles for them. So I'm going to show you the uh, few money plays we're going to run out of the Patriots playbook to get down the field without fumbling, and then what we're going to run on defense to get the ball back. So you're going to start out, you're going to choose a shotgun, go to play type, shotgun pass, and we're going to go with halfback wheel. This is uh, my favorite money play against the CPU. You'll notice I got Allen Robinson, who's X, on a deep post, and Mike Evans, who's B, on a deep out. We're going to go ahead and audible Evans to a slant inside, and now we're just going to read whether or not, or we're going to read the open receiver, so which Broncos, which receiver the Broncos don't cover. So it looks like X is going to be wide open down the field. And as soon as you get uh, the catch, just hold right bumper because you're going to want to protect that ball because fumbling is the quickest way you will restart the solo. So now we're just going to run out the clock. We're just going to run inside hand out, inside hand off, halfback dive. And as soon as I get the handoff, I'm going to hit right bumper to cover. Uh, sometimes the middle linebackers will get in here and tackle you really quick. Just like they kind of cut him away. And they, all the Broncos do is try to strip the ball. So, again, we're going to run halfback dive. And we're going to make sure we chew the clock here. Because uh, we're trying to get the clock down to about 2 minutes and 30 seconds. And again, as soon as I get the handoff, I'm just going to protect. And now that it's third down, we're going to go back to halfback wheel. You can also run PA power O. I might show that one uh, for the touchdown. And we're going to hopefully they cover X and we're going to read B. But it looks like I got two linebackers in the middle. So note B is going to be open. And you're just going to possession catch it for the first down. Because the goal is not to fumble. And I've noticed that when you rat catch on this solo, you fumble. So again, we're just going to run an inside handoff, halfback dive. And we're going to take another minute off the clock if we can. So two more running plays. And again, just protect the ball against that middle linebacker. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. We're still chewing the clock, and this should be the last time we chew clock. And just protect the ball, because the Broncos will strip it. And now I'm going to go ahead and take chew clock off, and I'm going to go to, for, since we're at the six yard line, I like to run PA Power O, which is play action, and it's the middle option there, X, which is PA Power O. And you'll see that tight end on a streak route, or on a sort of deep out route, and you'll hit him right as he cuts, and he should be wide open. It's A, it's Cameron there. And he's covered, but so you just wait a little bit, and apparently we didn't get in the end zone. Which is fine. We're going to run our two point conversion play since we're at the two yard line. It's outside handoff. It's halfback stretch from single back ace overload. It's the middle halfback stretch where you have that extra blocker on the right. And we've got good alignment with their, their linebackers. We have our far right blocker, which is Cameron. He's on he's to the outside of their best player. So as long as we get blocks, this play should go right in. And to run that, you just kind of want to run toward the corner and then cut up uh, after about a yard. And instead of kicking the extra point, we're going to go for two. We're going to run that same outside handoff play. And we're going to just that halfback stretch, the middle option there. And hopefully we get the same exact outcome. Okay, so they have the same formation. We got blocks. And the two points good. So this lets us go down the field, and now uh, we can kick a field goal for the win. So we're going to kick off middle, play good kick coverage, and then play defense. The goal is to keep them from returning past the 30. This is fielded at the goal line. Alright, so the player you're going to pick is out of the quarters formation. It's under smoke. It's formation, quarters, 
under smoke. It's the third option right there. You're going to pressure cornerbacks. You're going to play over the top coverage. You're going to pinch your linebackers. And you're going to run commit middle. And then you're just going to read uh, the hole with your middle. Oh, they're passing. Okay, he threw it away. That's what we want to. If they throw it away, that's uh, because we're getting that quick pressure with under smoke. That's a good outcome. So we're going to run commit. We're going to press the corners and play over the top coverage. And then try to read the hole with our middle linebacker. breaking tackles there and then we got two minute warning and usually you take a timeout right there because they, they would run on their first play and uh try to run the clock down here i'm not sure what they're gonna do because there's a lot of time left usually there's be about a minute 12 on the clock so we're gonna choose under smoke we're going to press the corners play over the top coverage but we're not gonna run commit also pinch your linebackers and we force the fumble which shouldn't happen Normally you'll uh, you'll get a punt, and you'll have to take a timeout there. So you'll have about a minute to go down the field. Here we're already in field goal range, so I'm just gonna run inside handoff uh, and just shoot the clock down. We need one first down. That's fine. I'm gonna run two hand inside handoff plays, and then on third down attempt to convert. And again, as soon as I get this ball, I'm just gonna protect it because they're gonna want to be trying to strip. Just a yard on the pick up there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. A one-yard gain could look like a disaster, but it all depends on how the game is going. Is it a so I'm glad I forced the fumble, but I really wanted to show you guys the punt return and the drive down the field. But you're just going to run the same plays uh, in the beginning of this video. Halfback wheel, PA power O to get down the field. Since it's third down, we're going to go ahead and run halfback wheel again and just try to pick up this 10 yards. So Aqua B to the slant route. And we're going to read X or B. It looks like X might be open. Yeah, nope, B's going to be open. And again, just possession catch it. That's fine. We got the clock to, we're just going to let it run down to two seconds and this is a field goal. And just make sure you don't select your play while two clocks on because sometimes you'll run it out and you'll have to call a quick timeout down to about five, six seconds. We want to leave zero time on the clock. Yeah, stopped him in his tracks. And the field goal really comes down to uh, whether or not Madden hates you and they let Denver block your kick. And so we got 10 miles of wind. Uh, so you're just going to try to get right below those white arrows on the kick. It's May Myth. Let's see. Nope, right down the middle. All right, there's how you beat the... Josh Norman final puzzle solo uh, if you guys enjoyed the video uh, please like and subscribe for more thank you